Edmonton's transit centers are cold. They're lonely, isolated, soulless. Is it any wonder why they also feel dangerous? Planners have known for a long time that bustling crowds of people make a place feel safer. Concrete wastelands with hard surfaces and few people don't. So what do we do about it? Council voted to spend 20 million on increased security. Now they'll have a contracted security guard at all the major stations. They'll increase lighting and install mirrors to address blind corners. But does that really solve the issue? We already have a dedicated police squad to tackle hot spots and problem offenders. No, what we need is to go back and look at the environment. We know social disorder thrives in places that feel forgotten. So let's look at that. And what can we do? Let's get creative. Take Bay Enterprise LRT station, for example. It has hallways full of vacant storefronts. Space originally meant to be an indoor mall. It was never used. And now those vacant hallways contribute to this feeling of being forgotten, which is dangerous. What if the city offered the space for a dollar? Whoever had an idea that offered the most public benefit would get the space. They just have to make something that feels alive. Retail probably wouldn't work. This closed coffee shop behind me points to that problem. One coffee shop just isn't enough to make a difference. But there are other ideas. What about office and workspace for Edmonton's festivals? A pottery collective. Someone on Twitter mentioned roller derby. Anybody using that free space would improve things. What about above ground transit centers? We have these big concrete bus loops. Do you ever get the sense the transit center is designed for the bus instead of being designed for people? Forget making people gather and wait in isolation. Bring the buses to where the people are. Make a plaza or seating area right near a park or mall entrance. Have the bus stop there, somewhere warm and pleasant where you actually want to be. With this new bus route redesigned, we won't need massive transit centers where all the buses converge at once to make connections. A frequent route eliminates that. So we have the extra space. Why not build affordable housing, a storefront library, business incubator, coffee shop, meeting space? Why not? The options are endless, and all of it is better than concrete and a single security guard.